Hello! I'm here to talk about some of my favorite things. Um, and I'm going to start out with some makeup and maybe tell some stories. Um, so first of all, I have been loving for my face um, a combo that I've had for a while and never thought to put together. The Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. And I have it in the shade 2.5 Warm Sand. And what it is, it's really just a stick of foundation. Um, when I originally purchased it, the lady at the Bobbi Brown counter um, told me to use it more like concealer. And that's how I used it, and I didn't really like it because, I don't know, it just didn't, it felt like blobs of foundation, and then I'd put like a BB cream on top, and it just, it was not a, something that was working for me. So I just kind of stopped using it, but I did throw it away because it was a nice product, I just didn't use it. And then I, I was cleaning stuff out, and I reached for it the other day, and it has been working like wonders for me. It looks beautiful. It looks, it matches my skin tone very well right now. So what I do is I take it out. If I have any blemishes, which let's be real, zits happen. Um, I have them, like I have one on my chin. I've got like a red spot here that's always there. It's just blood vessels that are close to the skin. Any imperfections, I make sure I dab those on first. I put it on them first and then Maybe I'll do a tutorial with this because it's kind of funny. I kind of paint like cat whiskers on my cheeks, down my nose, across on my forehead, um, and then just anywhere else. And then I take a Sigma uh, flat top F80 brush and I just kind of buff it in. I've also used the um, Real Techniques buffing brush, or no, the Real Techniques expert face brush and use that to just kind of buff it in and it's great. Um, I love it. And then I just set it with uh, MAC Studio Fix Powder. And this is my second Studio Fix Powder. Um, I really like it. They last a long time. I can use it just as my foundation if I want to, or I can layer it on top of other foundation and use it as um, sort of a setting powder. I really enjoy it. It's really fantastic for me. I have it in NW18. Um, again, I was a darker color this summer, but I am pale and I've embraced it. Um, and I use that with the Real, Technique, Real Techniques powder brush. Um, sorry, it's a little dirty. I recently got this and it was just heaven. I used to use a MAC powder brush and I always found it, it was a bit, um, Rough isn't quite the right word I want to use, but it wasn't a pleasant powder experience. Let me put it that way. Um, and so this is like a perfect match made in heaven because the powder is really fine. And I just brushed it on my face and it just has this texture. It's just very pleasant to like rub your face with it. I don't know how else to describe it. I, I can kind of describe it like if anyone has a, a dog or a puppy or, I don't know if you heard that breathing, but that was my dog, Rosie. There she is, little girl. Um, anything like super soft like that and you rubbed your face on it, it just feels amazing, right? Anyway, that's what that powder brush feels like to me. And Real, Techn Real Techniques, if you guys haven't given these brushes a shot, what are you waiting for? They're cheap in price, not in quality. They are the bomb.com in quality. In fact, every time I go to Ulta, they're always sold out of them. But um, when I can find the one I'm looking for, whenever I'm checking out, the ladies behind the counter are like, oh my gosh, these are the best brushes ever. I love them. Um, I also bought the like Beauty Blender dupe that they have. I love it. Works great. So I highly recommend Real Technique brushes. And they wash really well. Which you wouldn't know because I didn't wash it, but I will. Okay, another product that I've been loving lately is the NARS um, blush. It's in the shade Lovejoy. 
here it is so this nars blush i picked up from the recommendation of a fellow youtuber um i believe the channel's makeup tia and she recommended it and even though she's completely different skin tone and coloration and all of that she's got gorgeous red hair and brown eyes which I'm about the opposite of that. Um, it looks great on her. And when I was in the Sephora VIB sale um, a couple weeks ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. Because the only other Sephora, or sorry, uh, NARS blush that I had had before was an Orgasm. And I loved it when I first got it. I still like it. It's just, I found others that I have loved more. Um, but this is such a pretty shade. It's like such a natural flush without being too pink. Um, there is some like goldy flecks in there. They're very fine though, so it's not super obnoxious, um, like the orgasm can kind of be. Um, I will say though, it looks great. I don't know about the lasting power of it. Um, it could just be like no blushes seem to last on me. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Even the Tarte Amazonian Clay, like 12 hour blushes don't cut it for me who knows um so I will say sometimes I layer an hourglass blush on top of it just I do this for like my main blush and then I just dab my blush brush in, in the hourglass blush in the shade luminous finish I believe and just it just adds a really nice little little touch of pink without being like rosy Disney pink cheeks Another product that I picked up at the Sephora sale is this little Bite Beauty um, lip pencil. Oh, I don't know what they're called. Let me look at it. It's this little Bite Beauty gift set. And um, so you open up the gift set and it's like an Altoids tin. It's super cute. A uh, little mirror on the inside, little paper. It's seriously like Altoids. And then you have these four colors. Um, they're all very beautiful. Two colors I've used all the time, like every day. Um, two are a bit more bold, might wear during the holidays, but they're just nice to have. Um, these four guys were, I wanna say the gift set was like 24, or $25. And if you're looking at buying one of these guys, like in full size, it's going to be the same price. I think it's $24, $25. I can't remember. Um, so I had never used a Bite Beauty product before. I thought, why not? I'll see at least two shades in here I'll use. And I'm not the type of person to really ever use up a lip product. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And I love it. And you should go get it if you can. So anyway, one of my favorite shades. Well, I'll start with my two favorite. Um, this is a really pretty shade. It's called Rhubarb. It looks like this. And it swatches like that. It's a very pretty, um, almost like a dusty rosy color without being, um, too dusty, more pinky. It's just... Gorgeous color. And then, here's a color. I actually wore this for my brother's wedding this past weekend. It is in the shade Sable. Um, and it's a pretty, pretty neutral. I'm actually wearing a bit of it on my lip right now. So that's Sable. That's rhubarb. And then, there's two more. A bit more, uh... Bold. I'm not one to rock a bold lip all the time because it's mostly just me and my dog hanging out. But that can be fun. Um, this is in the shade Winterberry. And this is a pretty, like, pinky, um, pinky shade. And then this mama, pomegranate, uh, very red and fantastic. That guy. Is that beautiful or what? Pretty pretty. All right. Um, I just don't tend to wear super bold any super bold lips 
all the time, but um, I wouldn't hesitate. These are great. They're um, they're formulated without a lot of the chemicals that you don't want to be putting on your lips because pretty much anything you put on your lips is going to go in your body and Bite is very aware of that and they make a really great product. Um, I've been really happy with the lasting power. Um, there's no funky smell or taste to them. Um, they just go on really smooth. They're not drying. I wouldn't say they're super moisturizing, but they're definitely not drying. So I typically put a lip gloss, or sorry, a lip balm on the bottom and then just layer the Bite on top. And I'm loving it. I will definitely buy more Bite Beauty products in the future, but um, I'm kind of glad I got the little set because I'll see how long those products last me. All right. And then my last two items... I have stories with them, which is fun. Okay, so like I mentioned, I had my brother's wedding this past weekend. And I get to the hotel to start getting my hair and makeup done because I was a bridesmaid. And the bride, my new sister-in-law, the first thing she says to me when I get to the hotel room is, Sarah, your brother. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even... <laughs> It's, it's really funny now, especially since it's already happened. Um, your brother got a black eye, or your brother has a black eye and a broken nose. And I was just like, what? And of course I instantly start laughing, which was the wrong response, because poor girl, she's on her wedding day and she finds this out. Um, but he did, somehow he stumbled through the night um, at my parents' house. Um, my mom thinks he must have, like, tripped on blankets that aren't normally there. I don't really know. He he hasn't been at my parents' house for years. So, you know, it's funny. I don't know. It's it's not funny, but it was funny. So he really did have a black eye. Um, the starting of one, anyway. Um, a big mark across his nose. Mark on his forehead. So the makeup artist was like, well... I've got some stuff to try to touch him up, but she wasn't think feeling very good about it. And I was like, you know what? I have something that might work. Now keep in mind, my brother and I have very different skin tones. He's like super tan and I'm not. But I just had a, an inkling. So I pull out my Bobbi Brown corrector and the makeup artist was like, yes, let's try that. So I have it in the shade Light Bisque. Um, which I also picked up at the Sephora VIB sale. This is my second one. My first one I got from the Bobbi Brown counter in extra light bisque. So I'm glad I went with a darker shade. Um, actually, I was looking for extra light bisque at Sephora, but they don't carry it. And they also don't have it online. So I don't know what that's about. But Bobbi Brown still has it. So, oops. So... Anyway, I went with the shade, and to me there's not much of a difference between the two, so it works for me, and it worked for my brother. So I have an awesome video, or a, a picture of the makeup artist dabbing this little baby on him. And of course, if any of you guys have ever used the Bobby Brown under eye corrector, this thing brightens up your dark circles, like nobody's business. It's the bomb. Dot com. Um, so... And like I mentioned, he's super tan. So it was like tan, 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 white, tan, tan, tan. Not like super white, but you know, very bright under his eye. Which as a female would be like, ah. But for him, um, he just looked like a reverse panda or something. So I pull out then. she's She kind of turned to me and asked. She's like, well, I guess we ha we could maybe put something a little darker on top. And originally I was like, oh, let's go for my powder. And then she's like, no, that's too light. And then I reached for my hula bronzer. Um, something that I picked up at Ulta when I had a 20% off coupon there. Um, this is the Hula Benefit, Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, this is the shade. And you know what? She just dabbed a little of that, and it worked great for him. So I was just happy that I could help, that my makeup products uh, went for a good use other than my face. And now I have that story to hold over my brother for the rest of his life. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. So those have been some of my favorites. 
Um, I will say some other things I've been loving the past couple months. Um, music. Let's just talk Taylor Swift, shall we? I just... <sighs> the girl can do no wrong, in my opinion. Um, I think she's just got such a great head in her shoulders, and she just kills it. Just kills it with everything she does, which is awesome. Um, another one of my favorites is actually the same night that the... I say night because it came out like midnight. Um, the same night that the Taylor Swift album came out, my favorite artist of all time, her latest EP came out as well. And her name is Tristan Prettyman. Um, her EP is called Back to Home. Um, I recommend everyone go give it a listen on iTunes or SoundCloud. Um, it's probably on Spotify as well. I have been following Tristan for the past 10 years. Um, I've seen her in concert so many times and she'll be coming to Colorado soon. So I'm super excited to drive up to Boulder to see her. Um, her new album is just great. So between the two of them, I was just like dancing in my car, dancing with my dog, dancing around my boyfriend, looking at me like I was crazy. That's my dog dropping her toys. Um, so Love that. Love those two new albums. Um, they're amazing. And speaking of Taylor Swift's Shake It Off, because I've had that song in my head all day long because of a certain blog post by Miss Essie Button. Um, I guess she's been getting some flack lately from some haters. Um, that's Rosie. She wants to say hi. Um, you know, some pe from haters just being hateful um for no reason at all other than they probably have nothing either nothing going on in their lives or a lot going on in their lives and they need to <laughs> Rosie come up here sit down and they need to feel better about themselves by making someone else feel worse which is sad um and I just have to say like I give super props to Essie for um well Este is her name but I call her Essie we're buds no we're not I want to be, yeah. Um, I give super props to her just for, like, calling out her haters. Like, you know, I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt who said, like, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. And that is true. And this girl just laid it all out there. She said, you know what, if you want to make fun of me because I have zits on my face... And I didn't wear makeup in a post or in a vlog. Like, that's really not her problem. That's your problem. Um, and everyone has zits. Zits happen. I, oy. maybe someday I'll tell you guys about my struggle with acne because it has been long. Long, long struggle. And I'm just kind of having it work out for me now. Um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to her because... Her posts are so inspiring to me. I love how real she is, and I just want to say, just shake it off, girl. What would Taylor do? Hate is gonna hate, right? Just shake it off. Oh. So on that note, I would just like to say, how about go spread some positivity in the world today if you can. Um, you know, the internet is a great place where people can meet people from all across the world. You can learn anything you want to learn. You can watch anything, listen to anything, put anything out there. And that's amazing. The sad part is many people choose to not do something nice when they have a screen in front of them and no one can really track down who they are and they have that shield of anonymity. And instead of being positive and nice and spreading joy they decide to be mean and I think that's just that's sad but at the same time you know I understand people go through things and sometimes they need an outlet so maybe let's just think that's all it is and not take it too seriously and in the words of T Swizzle shake it off all right so that's it for me guys thank you for watching I'll be back soon um, let me know if there's any tutorials you'd like to watch um, <laughs>
<laughs> my dog was just giving a little shake. So she's shaking it off. I'm going to go shake it off. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.